Hey boys and girls, this is uh, Joe with another Gear of the Week coming at you. Up now we have uh, the Joe Bonamassa Les Paul Studio. That's a uh, limited run gold top with a, uh, a carved maple cap on a mahogany back and sides. This guitar has a, uh, a rounded 59 neck, uh, burst bucker, two and three humbuckers, and uh, it plays like a dream. It's a uh, Great for blues, great for rock. Um, it's uh, like I said, it's set up perfect with a hard shell case for ten ninety nine. Up next is an older Parker Fly Deluxe. This is a um, this is a mahogany body with uh, Demarzio pickups, and uh, it has the the thumb wheel that uh, you can adjust the counterweight inside the body so it balances perfectly, uh, no matter how you sit, how you stand, uh, you let go with your uh, your playing hand, your left hand, and uh, it balances exactly where you want it to, to be. Um, this guitar sells uh, new for about 3200 bucks. This is the top of the line with the piezo uh, pickups, uh, all the uh, EQ controls, um, 1099. Up next is a, uh, a newer PV Wolfgang Special. It's a uh, flat top basswood body with a maple cap, maple uh, hard rock maple neck, uh, unfinished uh, back of the neck. It's a, a real fast um, playing guitar, and it's, uh, again, set up really nice with a D-tuna for $4.99. Up last, we have a early 50s, 1950 or 1951 Bronson Melody King made by Rickenbacker. Before they really got into uh, making six-string guitars and basses, they were making lap steels for themselves and for other companies. This is a beautiful top-of-the-line uh, lap, uh, six strings with Bakelite knobs, original hard shell case, uh, with some sheet music signed by George Bronson himself in 1951. This is a great lap steel uh, for $7.99 shipped. That concludes our Gear of the Week. I appreciate you looking. Thanks so much.